Welcome to the first of three tutorials looking at example mole calculations using mass. Now in all three of these tutorials, we're going to be using number of moles in blue equals mass in green over molar mass in red. Okay. So we've always got access to molar mass. I want you to remember this because of course we get the molar mass of any substance from our periodic table. So, like I said, throughout the three tutorials, I'll be using these three colors to represent the three different components of the equation. Well, let's look at this first question. We've got 0 0.5 grams of zinc reacts with excess hydrochloric acid to produce zinc chloride solution and hydrogen gas. Calculate the mass of zinc chloride produced. Well, we always look at what information we've got in the question first. Well, looking through the question, we've only got a mass of zinc. That's the only thing we've got. And of course, by equation, we need to figure out what mass of zinc chloride was actually produced. So the first thing we need to do, if we're not given one, is write a balanced equation. So we've got Zn plus 2HCl gives us ZnCl2 and hydrogen. Now, of course, the formula of these massively important. If you don't get the formula right, then of course, you can't balance the equation. So that's what we've got here is our balanced equation. Looking at the question, the only thing we can calculate is the number of moles of zinc because we have a mass. And again, like I say, we've always got access to our molar mass. So step one is to find the number of moles of zinc. So that is our mass divided by molar mass. So that equals our mass, which is 0 0.5. And if we look in our periodic table, the molar mass for zinc is 65.4 grams per mole. Okay, so let's figure out what that is. So 0 0.5 divided by 65.4, and that gives us in decimals 7.645. I'm going to write that in there times 10 to the minus three moles. Okay, so 7.645 times 10 to the minus three. I'm gonna leave that in my calculator, even though I've rounded it slightly, I'm gonna keep the accurate number in my calculator. So now we've found the number of moles of zinc, we need to look at the stoichiometry between zinc and zinc chloride, okay? Zinc in ratio to zinc chloride is actually, it's a one to one reaction. One mole of zinc goes in, one mole of zinc chloride goes out. Okay, so that equals a one to one reaction. So what it can say is that therefore, the number of moles of zinc chloride, if this is a one to one reaction, must also equal 7.645 times 10 to the minus three moles. So that's how many moles of zinc chloride we've got. Now we've got this, we can actually find the mass of zinc chloride needed. Now we have this because of course, we've always got access to our molar mass. So our third and final step to find the mass of zinc chloride produced, that is of course, number of moles times molar mass. So that equals number of moles, which we have of course, times molar mass, which we always have. So that equals seven, 0.645 times 10 to the minus three. And that's of course multiplied by our molar mass of zinc chloride. So one zinc and two chlorines. So that is uh, what do we say 65.4 for zinc, two lots of 35.5. So you need to do that in your calculator. I've already done that. So that's 136.4 as our molar mass for zinc chloride. So we've got this number the accurate value already stored in our calculator. So we just multiply that by 136.4 and that gives us our mass of zinc chloride, which is 1.04 grams, okay, to two decimal places. Of course, if it was three significant figures, it would also be the same. So we've got 1.04 grams as our mass of zinc chloride produced.